So what I first need to create is a mixer. I'm going to move up to create mixer 14.2. So here is a little 14 channel mixer. Uh, it's m almost modeled after a Mackie mixer. We have four aux sends, a real basic uh, treble and bass EQ, uh, solo and mute, your pan pots, and of course your channel faders. You do have a master section. Uh, all of your aux sends have dedicated aux returns off to the side, and we're going to look at how all of this works in just a second. Uh, but I just want to point out that if I tab around, you'll notice that the outputs, my master outputs of my mixer, have already been wired up to my physical outputs of my sound card. So now whatever I connect, I'll be actually be able to hear. Our next section that, look, that we need to look at in terms of this, in terms of devices that we can create, are our synthesizers. Now you notice we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different instruments that we can use to create sound inside of Reason. The first one that let's look at is our re-drum. This is a great one to start with. It's basically a little drum computer or a drum machine in a sense. Um, I'm going to move this sequencing page just out of the way so we can see more room. Incidentally, if you like, you can disconnect the sequencer from the rack. If you notice this little tab up here in the upper right corner, if I click on that, it basically separates my sequencer from my rack. So depending on how you like to work, uh, you may want to do that. This is really effective if you have two monitors. If you have a two monitor setup, you can have your rack on one monitor and your sequencer on another. Not necessary though. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. So here's our read drum, uh, basically set up almost like a uh, an older style Roland drum machine. Each one of these sections right here, you'll see one through ten. Each one of these will house a different sound and will actually use this to sequence the sound. So the first thing we need to, to get, the first thing we need to do here is actually load up some sounds. Now I could go through and load up individual sounds, but just just to keep it really simple, I think we should load up an entire drum kit. Now reason ships with a lot of different sounds uh, in terms of these drum kits. The way we access this is this little folder icon down here. You'll notice as I hold the cursor over it, I'll get a little, um, it sort of starts self-labeling will pop up and it says browse patch. So what I'm going to do is click on this and I will get this folder that pops up. Now you may actually end up looking at your desktop or something like that. Um, what we can do, what you want to find is any kind of reason refills. And what we're looking for is the factory sound bank. This is where you're going to find the majority of your sounds. So if I look under the factory sound bank, I'm looking for a folder called Redrum Drum Kit, which is where I find right here. I'm going to double click, and here I can see all of these different types of kits that we can use. We have abstract hip hop, uh, drum and bass kits, you've got glitch kits, hardcore kits, techno kits, house kits, basically a little bit of everything that you could possibly want in terms of creation of different songs and sounds. I'm going to go for a chemical kit. Um, let's try chemical kit number seven. Now you'll notice, once I've double clicked on that, it opens up. Each of these sounds now have been allocated to each of our channel strips within the drum machine. So very quickly, I'm just going to drop this into sequence mode. We'll talk more about this in greater detail, but I'm just going to create a little sequence to give you a, a little bit of a flavor of how this might work. So there's a basic drum groove that we have. Let's look at some of the other instruments that Reason allows us to use. 